there are counseling services and events available on many college campuses. Thanks, guys. A report by the World Health Organization shows 93% of the world's children under 15 live in extremely polluted air. Y que en el año pasado fue parte de la selección mexicana en la Copa América de Baloncesto Femenino disputada en Argentina. The community is invested in helping to improve the education system for their children. Parents are also willing to help LAUSD teachers in any way that they can. In Northridge, I'm Isabella Choa for Valley View News. Vamos. The daily lives of individual college students can be very different. What are some college students susceptible to? Getting anxiety, stress, or depression? Daniela Silva, a recent graduate from UC Davis, tells us how anxiety affected her ability to manage her academic life. Depending on what you're going through, um, it could affect you just being in class. For example, anxiety, you might not just want to go to class or you you're just anxious about everything and anything. Some students who experience mental illness try to seek help through counseling services. Enrique Ramirez, a student coordinator at the Blues Project at CSUN, mm -hmm. says he wants to eliminate the stigma associated with having a mental illness. I'm able to do it and kind of give back to them in that sense and see how I've learned from it and how it can be implemented in their life. I feel like that could really make a change in someone's life. Opening up to a therapist or family member can be scary. Luis Zamora, a CSUN kinesiology student, explains the importance of asking for help. Just going to your own parents, your family, everyone's very understanding, even though a lot of us don't think um, they are. The stigma of mental illness weighs heavily in society. Yasmin Irfani from the Blues Project says she wants to help create a safe space on campus for students. An environment and campus culture where it's okay to talk about not being okay and seeking out um, help without feeling the stigma. There are counseling services and events available on many college campuses. For example, here at CSUN, the Blues Project hosts their annual Beat the Blues Week in November. In Northridge, I'm Isabella Choa for Valley View News. There have been ongoing contract negotiations between the UTLA Teachers Union and the LA Unified School District. Teachers and parents are informing the community on the negative impact charter schools have on public schools. High school teacher Jeff Harold explains the lack of resources at his school. We want psychiatric social workers, we want librarians, we want a nurse at every school. Uh, frequently schools will have a nurse for one day of the week. So, too bad if your kid gets sick on four of the other five days. Harold says charter schools get more funding per school than public schools. He also says public school students get better test scores. Debbie Schneider, a resource specialist teacher at Armenta Street Elementary, explains how class sizes affect students. Studies show that when you have smaller class sizes, you can reach more students because then they're able to get more, you know, individualized attention. Parents pay for their children to go to charter schools, while public school students are affected by the lack of money their schools get. Ultimately, that will affect the quality of education they'll receive. Harold explains. This is one of our last ways for people of all colors, ethnicities, religions, genders, etc. to gain access to opportunity. The community is invested in helping to improve the education system for their children. Parents are also willing to help LAUSD teachers in any way that they can. In Northridge, I'm Isabella Choa for Valley View News. General Motors is encouraging the government to put more electric cars on the nation's roads. They took the stance after the Trump administration proposed to remove fuel economy requirements from vehicles. A nationwide program would look pretty much like California's zero emission vehicle program. GM's plan would require automakers to sell a certain number of zero emission cars. That's it for social media, health, and tech news. Brian and Sammy, back to you.